Hello, this is Mr. Marlowe for lesson 3-3, Solve, solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. So like I said before, for section 1, 2, or 3, 1, and 3, 2, um, these are pretty much review of chapter 2, where instead of an equation, they're going to be an inequality sign. And again, it's going to be the opposite. So if it says, you know, 5 times x is greater than 10, I'm going to divide by 5. Or if it says, you know, x divided by 3 is less than 2, I'm going to multiply by 3, so keep that in mind again. If it's a multiplication problem, we're going to divide. If it's a division problem, we are going to multiply. That's basically what that says there. All right, so if a problem like this happens, so I have 7 times x is greater than negative 42. So since it's 7 times x, I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Divide both sides by 7. I end up with x is greater than negative 6. And then same thing for graphing. So I'm going, to drew, I'm going to have a line for my 0, and I'm going to have a line for my negative 6. Okay, it's going to be an empty circle since it's just greater than, and numbers greater than negative 6 are going to go to the right. All right, same thing here, 3 fourths times r. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 fourths. Okay, fractions change nothing. 3 and 3 are going to cancel, 4 and 4 are going to cancel. So dividing both sides by 3 fourths, remember, is really the same thing as multiplying both sides by 4 thirds. Okay, flipping that 3 fourths over. Okay, so I end up r is less than, and then I can simplify here, so 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 4 4 times, 4 times 4 is 16, 1 times 1 is 1, so I end up with r is less than 16. Again, when I'm graphing, I'm just going to put a 0 there, and then the number I'm graphing, which is 16, and I want less than 16, so I'm going to have an empty circle since it's just less than, and since it's less than 16, I'm going to go to the left, so numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all those numbers are less than 16. Um, same thing here with the less than or equal to sign here, or the greater than or equal to sign. So it says t 5 times q, so I'm going to divide by 5. So I end up with negative 10 is greater than or equal to q. Okay, again, I don't usually like it when the variable is not first, so I'm going to rewrite it. And remember, when you rewrite it, it has to be pointing the same way so that it's pointing towards Q. So same thing, it's pointing towards Q. I just can't keep the sign the same. Everything pretty much has to get flipped. So if Q is less than or equal to negative 10. So there's my 0. There's my negative 10. And now since it's a filled in, or it's going to be a filled in circle because it has that equal to, so we're going to fill in the circle here, and I need all the numbers less than negative 10, so it's going to go to the left. Okay, there is one tricky part for when I start multiplying and dividing, and that has to deal with the negatives. Okay, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, the sign is going to get flipped. Okay, so only when I multiply or divide by a negative number. So like for example here, I have negative 12 times x is going to be greater than negative 84. Okay, and I'll show you the reason why we, why we flip that sign here in a second. So if I have 84 divided by 12, I'm going to end up, or negative 12, I'm going to end up with negative 7. So I'll divide both sides by 12. I divided by a negative, so that sign's going to get flipped. So now it's not x is greater than, it's going to be x is less than negative 7. Okay, and the reason why we do that is to make this true. Okay, if I pick a number less than negative 7, so like negative 8 or negative 9, let's just pick negative 10 because it's going to be easier to multiply. Negative 12. times 10, or negative 10, is going to be 120. Yes, 120 is bigger than 84. 
But if I didn't flip the sign and I had x is greater than negative 7, I'd have a number like 0. 0 is greater than negative 7. But does that make sense? Negative 12 times 0 is greater than 84? No, that's not true. 0 is not bigger than 84. So that's why I have to flip the sign to make it the equation or the inequality true. So the graphing doesn't change. Now I have a 0. I have a negative 7. So numbers less than negative 7. Okay. Remember, this only happens when I multiply or divide by a negative. I divided by negative 12, it would flip. Here, I times by negative 3, it would flip. There's some problems where they're going to try and trick you, where it's going to be something like, let me just write one down here, um, neg, you know, let's do 5x equals negative 15. By equals, I don't mean equals, I mean let's do greater than. Okay, this time the sign would not flip because I'm not dividing by a negative. I'm dividing by positive 5. Okay, so this, this time the sign would stay the same because negative 15, all right, that is a negative 15, but I'm not dividing by negative 15, I'm dividing by a positive 5. So the sign's not going to flip there. So just because you see a negative, that doesn't mean it's going to flip. And this is only for multiplying and dividing, not with adding or subtracting.